Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn about Pandas read CSV operations. So there are multiple arguments available using which you can read CSV and manipulate multiple things that is related to a CSV file. In this video, I am going to talk in detail about the read CSV operations and multiple arguments that are involved. So why delay? Let's get started. Okay, so first of all, let's see the CSV file that I have. So this is my CSV file. Now CSV file means comma separated values. So what is it? For example, if I go to the specific location, this is my file. Okay. Now if I click on this file, if I open this file in a notepad, you also have an option to open this in notepad. Let me open it with notepad and you can see all the values that you have seen in the Excel, right? These values are actually stored in this format. Okay. Product name, comma. So you can compare it. Okay. Let me keep it side by side. So you have product name, you have price, you have in stock, comma, category. Then the comma stops here. Then product A, comma. So you can see each row is represented until here. And then a new row starts. So this is a comma separated values. Okay. Comma separated values. Now how to deal in pandas? Let's see that. Now for this, let me open my pandas. And here, let's understand this. How do you read it? So the very first thing is, I'm going to import pandas as pd. And then I'm going to create a data frame variable. Let's say I'm creating a data frame variable called df1. Let's say. Equals to, then I'm writing the alias pd dot read csv. So this is the method that we'll be using called read csv. And inside this, you'll be passing the file path. So let's say here the file path is this one. I'm going to shift right click. I'll get a copy as path, copy it, go back here and let me paste it. So before you paste, simply write R. Why R? Because if you have a backward slash, it is going to consider it. It, it is not going to throw any error. Now after this, let's print DF1 shift enter or you can simply run it here by doing this what happened a table got created now many people who doesn't get the table in this kind of a format uh, you can see the borders have come i have already created a video inside my jupyter notebook playlist so there you will understand how you can have this borders okay in, in case you are interested otherwise it's fine so you can see the entire csv file has been loaded onto a data frame variable pretty simple now here sometimes let's say your this is my csv file i am going to insert one other row and sometimes you may not have your header products okay so your my header is actually in the second row in that case what happens if i am going to uh, hit shift enter you can see the product name has appeared in the excel you can see right the products the products has appeared uh, okay so let me save it i did not save it let me save it and let me shift enter so what happened the products has come and after that unnamed one unnamed two unnamed three why this is happening because this is all blank right so it is only considering this one it is not considering this is my actual header so in such a file where you have this kind of a arrangement where your headers are below in a diff different row then in that case how do i really get the header okay so for that you can simply mention it here there is an argument called header equals to and i'm i can mention the row number that means this is the row zero this is the row one the index starts from zero one so if i'm mentioning one and if i hit on if i run it now you can see the actual header has appeared now what would happen if you do 2? Two? 2 means it is going to consider this row. Starts from 0, 1, right? 0, 1, 2. So this will be considered. So for example, if I am going to shift enter, you can see product A, 99, all this has become header. So in our case, we have to keep it. So based on wherever it is located, you pass that number. So in my case, it is there in the index number 1, shift enter. So that way, you will be able to see the actual header of your table. 
okay this is one thing now sometimes while you are dealing you may not require all the columns let's say if there is a large data set and i would like to only deal with the product name in stock and category only three this one is not required you can imagine there could be multiple columns so you wanted to work in with selected columns if you want to work with selected columns in that case what to do so for that there is something called use columns what is it use columns equals to and this is a list i can pass what are those columns i would like to read so i can pass the numbers for example zero represents the first one for example if i write zero shift enter you can see the first one has come now if i am writing zero comma two comma three what would happen you can see only the three columns have come okay this is also very important when you have heavy amount of columns and you would like to be very specific this will be useful okay now after this uh, for example let me delete all of it shift enter okay so this is our actual uh, so let me remove this delete and let me save it and run this again so this is our actual table now let's say um, i would like to get only specific set of rows i don't want to see all the rows so imagine you have multiple millions of rows so you want to only deal with specific set of rows so there is something called n rows that means number of rows equals to let's say i'm going to pass 3 shift enter you can see only i've got the three the top three rows just to see a sample of data right this will be helpful now there is something else there is something called and you have a question right rakesh where do you find all of this is there a documentation yes there's a definitely a documentation available simply write pandas and say csv and here you have the official pandas documentation just open this up okay so here if you see all the things that we have learned let's say header is one of the argument right uh, and then we have learned about number of rows right and we have learned about use columns where it is if you cannot find it simply type use calls okay so you can see use columns that means use columns so all of this we have learned now um, let me talk about something related to names okay sometimes it may happen your sheet itself may not have a header for example let me delete it okay so this is how my data appears now in that case how do you assign some header you no know, there is no there is no header proper headers right what is this what is this? we don't know now in such a case if you like to assign some headers what you do simply write header equals to and i'm saying none header is none now if you print this shift enter what happened by default pandas is going to assign some numbers to the columns 0 1 2 3 4 like this now having numbers may not be quite useful you wanted to have your specific column names now for that i am using this argument called names how will i use it simply put a comma after this and write the argument names and then put equals to and here i can pass the list of my columns for example 0 1 2 3 right the first one is the product column so put a quote and simply say product comma and then put another quote the second one is uh, price so i'm saying price the third one is whether it is in stock or not okay so i'm saying in stock okay comma and the last one is a category and i'm saying category shift enter so just by doing this what happened even though my data did not had columns the data frame now has assigned columns this is also one of very useful argument now sometimes what happens your data might have some not available things for example if you look at my excel this excel has got na not available na and small na so these are not the right data or the proper data so we have to have a single format not not available if you are writing not available let it be everywhere in the same way 
Now pandas has a very useful way of converting all those uh, missing data right or not available data. So how to do that? The first thing let me remove everything that we have written here. It is a simple CSV file now. Okay. Now there is a argument that we can use uh, called na underscore values. Okay, na values. Now what is this na value? We can look at the documentation na underscore values. Using this, I am going to simply pass certain elements to it so that it understands that these are missing values. Okay. So one of the indication is if it is written in capital N dot A. So simply write that N dot A capital N N dot A. Okay, this is one of the indication. Now what would happen the moment I am going to hit on shift enter, the places where the NA was written now has been converted to NAN. Now what is NAN? Not a number. NAN means not a number. It's not a proper value. Okay, so you can see these two values got converted to NAN. Now let's say I will also like to convert this not available. So simply copy this and uh, within the bracket I am going to say comma pass this and same thing let us do it for one more value na small na. So how many different different values you have in your sheet you need to check that and pass it and a skip now shift enter. So what happened? All those values now convert into NAN, not a number. Now it may happen sometimes. See, NA in category means North America. It's a North American category product, let's say. This is I'm giving, giving you some big example. But again, let's say sometimes the NA has some meaning in the category field. So I don't want the category field to be changed. I don't want the category field dot NN dot A should not be changed. Now in such a case, if you have got such a scenario, then what to do? Now for that, what we can do, instead of passing this directly like this, I'm going to copy it from here till here, okay? Just X out of it. Now I'm going to use a dictionary instead. So for dictionary, you will use two curly braces and hit on enter so that you get maximum space to write in between, okay? So I hit on enter and here we will pass those areas or the columns where you like to change it and pass those areas where you don't like to change it okay so for example i'm going to pass my first column name called price colon and i'm going to pass this value so in the price column if these things are there you change it to nan or not a number okay comma then i'm going to write in stock so put in space stock if, if there is a space in stock and then colon let me pass it. That means in stock column, if there are any such values, you can change it to any. Okay, permission granted. Now the next thing is the category. So for the category, I'm going to again write category column. Ensure your spellings are right while you are doing it. In case there is any error, you can always check it. Now here also, I'm going to copy paste it. But here, if there is a NA, if you look at my Excel, now this NA value, I'm going to remove it. I am fine with not available, I am fine with NA, but not with N dot A. So in that case, simply remove it and run it again. Now if you run it again, if you see, this N dot A did not change. So this is also pretty powerful argument that you can use with the read CSV. And for many more such things, you know, based on your requirement, you can always look at the Pandas documentation, which is going to help you. Okay. So here we have learned the important ones, which will be quite useful during your data analysis or during the munging process of removing the unwanted data. So thank you guys for watching it. We are going to meet in our next content.